Today, I'm going to show you how you can learn hotel management online fast. And the secret is a new strategy that I use to help my students start a successful career, understand hotel operations, and develop skills needed to become a manager. Now let's switch to presentation where I show you what exactly you will learn today. Keep watching. Okay, now let's see what you will learn today. We will start with hotel industry segmentation, then move on to organizational structure, and finally I will share with you professional hotel terminology. Hotel industry consists of different segments. The first segment is hotels. Hotels are companies that provide short-term accommodation to people. Aside from offering lodgings, hotels provide other services, including food and beverage and housekeeping. Resorts build around popular tourism destinations and summer vacation spots. Typically, they are located on bigger pieces of land and have additional facilities for health, sports, entertainment and shopping. There are different types of resorts. For example, beach resorts, spa resorts, ski resorts, golf resorts, island resorts and others. Many resorts offer all-inclusive pricing that includes the price of a room as well as three meals per day, breakfast, lunch and dinner, services and activities. Shared accommodations or hostels targeting low-budget travelers. Hostels offer less privacy and no personal service. Bathroom and kitchen facilities are shared. Bed and breakfasts, also known as B&Bs, are small establishments which offer overnight stays and breakfast in the morning. Guests are provided with a private room and a shared bathroom. Most B&B owners live on site and handle B&B operations. Another segment of the hotel industry is fully furnished apartments for long-staying guests. This type of accommodation offers a private kitchen and on-site laundry for long-staying guests. Finally, a timeshare accommodation is a way to share ownership of a property, such as a hotel room or a condominium unit within a resort area. Each buyer purchases a certain period of time in a particular unit. Timeshares typically divide the property into one to two week periods. Organizational structure of a hotel. An organizational structure is a system that explains how certain business activities are directed in order to achieve the goals of a company. Every hotel starts with a person who owns the building, the hotel owner. Very few hotel owners have knowledge and skills to successfully run the business themselves. Most of the time, they hire a professional company to manage the property for them. Hotel team led by a hotel or a general manager. He is in charge of the entire business performance of the property. He reports to hotel owners and management company directors. Typically, hotel managers have an operations background, front office, food and beverage or sales and marketing. It allows them to have a deep understanding of internal processes and manage hotel effectively. The second person in command is the operations manager. He covers the entire hotel operations to make sure everything is up and running. He reports directly to the hotel manager and assists him 
to run the property when the hotel manager is on a business trip or on holidays. All hotel departments divided into two categories, the front of the house, departments that are in direct contact with the guest, and the back of the house, departments that provide support and administrative services and have no direct contact with customers. When guests contact the hotel for the first time, they usually reach the front office department. It is a key department of the hotel because the major part of the revenue comes from room sales. The only exception is big convention hotels that have huge meeting facilities that can generate a similar amount of revenue. Front office functions are reservation, reception, concierge, bell desk, and a PBX service that stands for private branch exchange. Basically, a call center that handles all internal and external phone communications at the property. Food and beverage department serves restaurants, bars, cafes, clubs, poolside areas, room service, banquets, staff cafeteria, and the kitchen. This department has a lot of subdivisions and a big number of employees. It is the best place to start a career and become a manager. Housekeeping team maintains cleanliness throughout all the public areas of the property, including but not limited to the lobby, hallways, and public washrooms. The most important role of the housekeeping department is to clean and prepare guest rooms for new arrivals. Some hotels have laundry and dry cleaning services operated by the housekeeping department. Sales and marketing directly responsible for hotel financial performance. Sales and marketing develop strategies to increase occupancy and make profitable use of room inventory and meeting facilities. It also includes marketing function to increase visibility and promote hotel services to new clients. All team members are carefully selected and must have a strong communication and presentation skills because they deal with new and existing clients daily. Accounting department record and verify all business transactions of the hotel. It includes tracking of all transactions, providing accurate, timely and relevant financial data to hotel management and government reporting. Human Resources Department is responsible for hotel employees. It's their job to find, screen, recruit, train, reward employees and assist department heads with performance appraisals. Big hotel chains invest a lot of money to develop their human capital to keep their employees happy. The Engineering Department maintains all facilities and equipment of the hotel. Its functions include inspection and repair of various energy supply equipment, such as the heating and cooling systems, plumbing, lighting, and kitchen equipment. Additional functions are fixing furniture, repairing floors, ceilings, doors, and installing new products. Security protects hotel guests and their belongings, employees and the entire hotel property. Typically, hotel security staff do not carry firearms. Their primary responsibility is to perform surveillance, prevent and report. By having a clear idea of hotel departments and their responsibilities, you can pick the right department and prepare a career development plan that will help you succeed. 
Hotel terminology. ADR stands for Average Daily Rate, is one of the most popular financial indicators to measure how successful the performance of a hotel in comparison with other properties. Bar, the best available rate, is the lowest rate on a given day that hotel guests can book a room for. You don't need to have any special privileges to get access to a bar rate. They are available to everyone and you don't make a prepayment and typically there are no cancellation or change penalties. CRS stands for Central Reservation System. It is the internal reservation software used to maintain the hotel information, room inventory, and rates. Float, a small amount of money used by front desk personnel for the daily needs of the hotel as a change for cash payments. In other words, the additional money that is mixed in the cash deal with revenue received. Float is handed over from one receptionist to another. Occupancy, the percentage of rooms sold out of the total available rooms on a given date. It shows how much of the available space in the hotel is being used. The occupancy rate of a hotel is expressed as a percentage. OTA stands for Online Travel Agencies whose websites allow consumers to book various travel-related services directly via the Internet. OTAs reselling hotels, cars, flights, vacation packages, etc. provided by other companies. OTA examples are Booking.com, Expedia, Priceline and others. Property management system handles a variety of front office functions, including booking, guest check-in and check-out, assigning rooms to guests, reporting, billing and other tasks. Rec rate is the maximum of the counter rate that is open to the general public. The rec rate is usually the published rate for an unreserved hotel room before any discounts or promotions, commonly used for walking guests and reservations over the phone. Revenue per available room is the most important performance metric used in the hotel industry to measure the profitability and success of a property. It is calculated by dividing the total room's revenue by the total number of rooms available. SOP, Standard Operating Procedures, are the set of documented processes and procedures for hotel personnel to follow to ensure services and products are delivered consistently every time. Every hotel department has its own SOPs that usually developed by the hotel management team or external hospitality consultants. Well, that's all what I wanted to share with you today. And if you're interested to learn more, register for my hotel management course. You can find the link in the description of this video down below. With this course, you will be able to learn hotel operations in more detail. We will dive deep into key hotel departments, including their functions, systems and software, reports, relations they have, both internal and external, and very specific professional terminology. I will also provide you with quizzes to test your knowledge and additional lecture with Secrets of Career Success. 
register now and see you in class.